So we've heard a little bit about the technology inside the lander machines. Um, Benny's kindly agreed to talk us through this awesome user interface that you can see behind me. Um, it really is quite astonishing. It's a beautiful thing. So, um, Benny, can you tell us a little bit more about what's going on on the screen here and, yes. and, and what this means? Now this is a three meter long touch screen graphic user interface for the operator. And the reason we have this is that we want the operator to be completely comfortable with a digital product not having to learn how to program anything, use a keyboard, be computer um, uh, wise in any way. So if you can use a cell phone, if you can use an iPhone, he can learn to run the machine. We put people in front of the machine and without any instructions, within 10 minutes they know how to run it completely. So it's totally intuitive, entirely touch, and here's how it works. Both on the right hand side and on the left hand side of the machine, we have control panel so that the operator can run this while looking at the feeder or run it at the other end while looking at the stacker. Next we have, this is the job management area. So here you have a timeline which you decide, it inserts the length of the shift. If the shift is eight hours, you have a timeline of eight hours. If it's four hours, etc. And you see these lines, they tell you what the length of each job is. So the machine automatically sorts the job you didn't send to do it in this shift by the ranked order so that you have to change paper the minimum number of times. So jobs use the same paper, same size, or you keep one of the other. Of course, because it's a graphic user interface, the operator can, just like in an iPhone or an iPad, the operator can, can uh, move them around, can insert, can change the priorities, or he can rely on the machine's default decision making. So now, we move over to the next section, and this section is the heart of the um, inside the machine operation. Now in between you see there's a, a uh, frame here. That frame displays the job that's actually being produced. So you see this is the first job in the queue. And when I press the print button, the first job moves into the now printing position. So that's the job. And now you look at the, uh, the uh, computer graphic of the machine, you actually see that job being printed. And one of the amazing things is, this not only shows you all the job printing functions, but if I want to have a closer look at an area of concern, for example, I want to look at the sheet, at the transfer area, this comes up and it shows me, oh, I pressed on the blanket. Oh, that's good, I'm showing the blanket status. Okay, but now I'm going to cancel that and go back. And now I'm going to show you the image transfer status. Okay, now you're going to see the transfer area. And what this is, this is actually the transfer area inside the machine. And when we run the machine, you will see the actual pages running through here, the actual pages being printed. So we have video cameras in the feeder, video cameras in the transfer, and video cameras at the stacker. And the reason for that is the operator is used to running from one end of the machine to the other physically, which can be a huge length. To look at the area of concern, here it's all right at his fingertips.